it's party time because he's back. Well, this does not happen very often. Maybe the camera can see that, maybe not, but there's a great gray owl right here next to the road. I'm on a dirt road and there's a great gray owl sitting on a fence post. So I'm taking this opportunity to shoot some headshots of it. Uh, I'm using my 600 millimeter lens here on a Nikon D850. I'm gonna get some super excellent detail of the feathers of his face. It's kind of backlit right now. The light's really pretty. Uh, I've lined myself up here so I get a nice dark background. There's some really nice dense forest behind it. And a beautiful kind of rim light. It's just gorgeous. I'm shooting at F5, ISO 200, and minus one and a third on exposure compensation. It's giving me about 2 50th of a second, and it looks really nice. Actually, I'm going to back it down a little bit. I'm going to go to minus one and two thirds and then uh, lock in at uh, one three twentieth of a second. Yeah, it looks great. The sun just got a little bit brighter, so there's uh, that rim light's a little bit brighter, so I want to knock the exposure down a little bit. But this bird just seems to be hanging out on this fence post hunting, so it's looking. Oop, there it goes. I'm gonna see where it goes. Okay, it flew further down the road. Uh, so, actually, I think what I'm gonna do is park my vehicle and go for a walk. See if I can follow it around while it hunts. Yippee! Risk out here today. Uh, the owl flew onto private property that I don't have access to. So I'm hanging out here on private property where I do have access. So it's only about 50 yards away over there and I'm hopeful that maybe as it's hunting and flying around that maybe it'll come back this direction a little bit. Never know, but hey when you got an owl you stick with it at least I do, and uh, hope for the best. So right now it's just hunting, hanging out, 
and I'm gonna just kind of hang out too and we'll see but I am gonna respect the private property that's important and uh, keep everybody happy it's no problem okay I'm set up here now hoping this owl might fly uh, it's perched up right now but it's looking it's hunting out in this meadow and it looks like it's going to fly into this little shaft of light. So I'm set up for that shaft of light. So I'm shooting at minus two and two thirds stops. So when it flies into this shaft of light, it's got a really dark background uh, with the dark forest. So it could be really nice. Um, so I'm shooting wide open here at F4 and ISO 1600. So I'll get uh, kind of depends the lights kind of coming and going as it's moving behind clouds but I'll get at least a thousandth of a second possibly up towards two thousandths of a second oh there he goes I always like to fly while I'm talking away the light had just dipped down when it flew out into that uh, meadow it missed whatever it was after um, but so it wasn't a dramatic light situation there the light just dipped enough so it wasn't that great. So now I don't know what it's going to do. Let's move. All right. The owl's over here. I'm trying to keep an eye on it. Whoop, he's flying. I just missed another takeoff shot. Still flying, and he just landed. I guess I'll wander over there. But what I was about to say was that the, the owl, um, he flew back across the fence onto the property that I have access to. So I was about to say it's party time because he's back. And he is. So uh, now I got to try and keep up with him. It's a constant battle, really. A good kind of battle. All right, I see him again. He's perched way up high. Not a pretty perch. So I'm going to try and set up for a potential for a flight shot whenever that might happen. All right, I'm taking a wild ass guess here as to where the owl's gonna fly. So the owl is up in this little cluster of trees. Virtually impossible to see. And I just set up over here thinking maybe it would fly in that direction. It's gotta fly somewhere, but I've got good sight lines here. So I'm just gonna set up here and wait and see what it does. Maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe I won't. But I'm ready. As long as I put the camera down and don't miss the shot. Like seems to be happening lately. So I'm putting this thing away. Look how beautiful it is out. The clouds are fantastic. It's approaching sunset time. It's starting to get a little dark. The owl's still just hanging out up there in the trees. Let's see, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's kind of tough. I can't even see it on the screen. Anyway, it's in there somewhere. Oh yeah, maybe he's right. Is that him? Yep, that's him. Uh, but anyway, it's, uh, it's in the same spot it's been for about 35 minutes now. And I've just been hanging out waiting, hoping something interesting would happen and it hasn't yet. I'm gonna have to pack it in here soon because it's getting dark. But it was super fun, even um, even without making a ton of images tonight and mostly standing around <laughs> waiting. Uh, I did make a few images tonight and it was great to, to find this owl and spend a little time with it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I certainly enjoyed being out here and making it. So uh, have a great day and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd appreciate it. Have a good one. See ya.